Most e-commerce brands are scaling their high-ticket products the wrong way and it is completely ruining their chances of long-term scale. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I scale high-ticket products with Google Ads while number one, maintaining profitability and number two, actually increasing their revenue. And I'm going to go over a few live examples of some brands we're working with right now under my Google Ads agency, Euro Marketing, while we talk about the strategy. So first things first, this is is one of the major brands which we're working with if we scroll on to the right this brand has a total average order value of two thousand dollars and in my eyes this is fairly high ticket next brand that we're gonna be kind of discussing is this one right here not at the same level of that brand but it's still fairly high ticket or mid ticket of six hundred dollars per order and then this third and final brand is also a high ticket brand which we literally started working with roughly four days ago and this brand has an aov of 3166 which is a fairly decent amount and how are we continuing to scale brands like these how are we getting consistent results for them so that they continue to grow first thing you want to understand with a high ticket brand sporadic sales are just expected because of the nature of your brand unless of course you're scaling to thousands and thousands of dollars a day budget and because of this oftentimes it's gonna seem like no type of strategy it's working and this may be because you're constantly trying to make changes within your ad account you're constantly trying to optimize your google ads campaigns or just launch new things ultimately you want to understand that not getting consistent sales with your brand with your products leads to your algorithm being de-optimized meaning you are not going to be able to fully use smart bidding based campaigns like performance max just because you're not getting consistent sales for your e-commerce brand and of course there's a but it's not all doom and gloom running a high ticket brand there's a lot of solutions around this and a lot of appropriate strategies which you can implement to actually make things work first thing you want to understand is when it comes to scaling for example when it comes to scaling a brand like this if we look in the 90 days we can see just how much sales this brand has done in total and we began working with this brand right before these consistent sales we're making a lot of changes we're implementing the strategy i'm gonna go over in this video here which is why you see this blue line and this red line really starting to go up a bit and become more consistent but in the last 90 days this brand has literally done only thirty-eight thousand dollars in revenue this one right here in the last 30 days alone it's a bit better it has done eighty-seven thousand at a 7x roas and this final one which we recently began working with right before these big upward spikes this brand has done 53,000 in the last 30 days at a 7x ROAS but one thing we are starting to implement on all of these brands including this one is more of a phase based approach and when I say phases I'm referring to three distinctive phases number one phase is the testing phase number two profitability phase and number three scaling phase these are the three main phases you need to always be taking your brand through and if you look at the different kinds of campaigns here there's only two major performance max campaigns and the reason is because you don't want to distribute your data and you don't want to distribute your budget amongst too many campaigns when you run a high ticket store you want to minimize things you want to simplify things and put all of these three phases into one or two major performance max campaigns so this is one of our major p max campaigns within this brand which is literally testing all the products so it's completing the first phase of testing but we are also implementing profitability tactics and the profitability phase within this PMAX campaign, meaning we're optimizing the back end based on the data we're seeing here from the inside section. We're going into the products and we're getting rid of any products which are not hitting our KPIs, any products which have low CTRs or high CPCs or whatever the case might be. And this is introducing a lot of profitability into this campaign, which it didn't have previously. I mean, if we look at the overall conversions, it's starting to go up a lot more than it actually was before and the ROAS is increasing third phase is the scaling phase which we're also introducing here and we're introducing scaling by just simply increasing the budget 10 percent to 20 percent every 14 days to every 13 days and this is taking care of the third phase now I mentioned earlier we're getting rid of some of the bad products in there now we are adding them to their own performance max campaigns here as well but this PMAX campaign we're also making it so it's more of a 
best-selling product-based performance max campaign so eventually we're trying to take out the scaling phase from the testing and profitability and make it its own phase because that's essentially the way things should be we only do this with high ticket of combination because it's so sporadic and for pmax campaigns to work you need consistency with sales otherwise they're just gonna stop working now this is another brand where we're introducing this approach but this is more of a distributed and a segregated approach where there's few big brands because this major brand sells multiple sub brands and every sub brand has a different kind of profit margin so we're optimizing each of these campaigns in a different way and if we look right here we have various different pmax campaigns running some of them are running great whatever runs great we scale whatever doesn't run great we optimize and we implement the profitability phase and whatever is not working at all we just take out those products and either exclude them or add them to their own excluded products pmax campaign and third and final one same thing here we're introducing a lot of performance math campaign here because before we began work this brand was mostly using standard shopping campaigns and if we look right here a lot of these standard shopping campaigns literally were getting zero sales and zero conversions but they were spending a lot of money and this is really not an ideal approach because this is adding too much fanciness to the strategy and this is exactly why this brand started working with us under my agency simply because they're not getting results with this approach and the moment we entered we started adding those pmax and sales started to come back this brand started to become alive again but if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at euromarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but the only reason why these brands we have been able to scale is because of the right performance max campaign strategies and the right approach and although i did mention it very briefly in this video i highly recommend you check out this video right here on my top five best pmax campaign approaches and strategies which combined with your high ticket store can explode it to the next level